If you're a Disney shareholder, you have a good reason to be angry because 2022 is a disastrous year. Their stock was in free fall. They got in a fight that they couldn't handle with the state of Florida. They decided to double down on standing up for teachers to sexualize children. That's the priority that they put ahead of actually entertaining people. And they paid the price. A lot of families are walking away. And now Bob Iger, who's back as the Disney CEO, is being absolutely grilled at the shareholders meeting yesterday. Bob Iger was grilled on Disney's place in politics at shareholder meeting. And of course, did he say, you know what? Maybe we've made some missteps. No, Bob Iger doubles down on inclusivity and diversity during shareholders meeting. But you got to hear some of this stuff though, because it's not just that people are like, you know, we really have a question about the direction Disney's headed. No, these people put Bob Iger on blast. Listen to some of this shit. I'd like to address what I view as the elephant in the room. Over the last few years, Disney has turned from a place of magic for children to an ideological company serving LGBTQ, IA+, however many other letters you want to add to that, lobbies to groom children. Over and over again, we see how your films and entertainment are increasingly promoting the woke agenda. How can you explain to parents worldwide that you recently celebrated 100 years of history by collaborating with the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus to an LGBTQ, IA+, themed Disney musical? This is a group who have explicitly stated that they want to indoctrinate children. They literally sang a concert and they sang the words, we will convert your children quietly and subtly and you will barely notice it. Like, it, it just went Woo! on and on from this. Woo! Do you want to know what he responded to that nonsense? He compared the LGBTQ movement to the civil rights movement where people were getting beaten and hosed in the streets and all kinds of that. Like, that's what he said is going on here with that movement. That was his uh, response. What he and said he was, hey, we've seen in the course of American history, we've seen corporations take a stand. During World War II, they took a stand. They spoke out. During the civil rights movement, they spoke out. So that's what Disney's committed to continue doing. So yeah, that's exactly what he tried to compare it to. There is no comparison whatsoever. And that is to uh, make that kind of statement is that's unbelievable. Disney's corporate charitable contributions was sparked when Disney spoke out on two controversial issues, gay sex and abortion. The first concerned a proposed Florida law on when and how elementary students should be taught about gay relationships. The other issue is when Disney decided it would help some employees skirt valid laws in their states if they wanted to get an abortion. Disney's positions were worse than wrong. They were stupid. They would have a material impact on only a small percentage of our employees while silencing any others. That's a huge thing, right? Mm -hmm. You're saying you're standing up for the employees, but, but what you're doing has an impact on very, very few employees while the vast majority of people that are working for you that don't agree with these things that aren't invested in these things right holy crap this i love this i think people were prepared this time because they knew like the last few rounds of calls were just little softball questions you know that they could just easily just say yes oh thank you yeah we're working on that things like that this was totally different and i wanted to get to the part where bob Iger does respond because about that civil rights thing because i think it's good to hear it from him detrimental to the overall company it's just I mean, pointless i think if you look back you know for decades corporate america has expressed themselves on numerous issues of both right and wrong. And our country, I think, is better off for that. And this was evident during the civil rights era, as I recall, as a child, when a lot of companies weighed in on injustices that they saw in America. Oh my God. It was certainly true during World War II when those that stood in silence in some ways still weigh, uh, still um, you know, carry the stain of indifference. So as long as I'm in the job, I'm going to continue to be guided by a sense of decency and, and respect and trust our instincts that when we do weigh in, we weigh in because the issue is truly relevant to our business and to the people that work for us. This is all time bad optics for them, dude. This is terrible. Essentially, he's confirming everything we've said. Look how easy it is to prove the agenda now versus how it was just a few years ago where people were saying, oh, this is you guys are just making this up. It's like, no, it's literally happening. You have shareholders within the company questioning and grilling the CEO of the company and the CEO of the company doubling down on it. What injustice is he talking about? There is no injustice. There is no comparison to that movement to the civil rights. Not 
not even close. Or to fucking World War II. Yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. Like, listen, exactly. I, I heard a rumor that if you work at Disney, you're not allowed to compare anything to the Holocaust, okay? So I would be very <laughs> careful if I were you. That's uh, right. Comparing the LGBTQ plus IA whatever, as that caller so eloquently stated, I'd be very careful comparing that to the fucking Holocaust. Yep. Uh, Gina Carano would have some words for you, I suppose. Mm -hmm. This is the way it ended, though. Very organically ended like this. Good morning from uh, the comeback city of Detroit, Michigan. We would like to um, commend Disney for their commitment to diversity and inclusion throughout the organization. Good morning from <laughs> that was like the last call they took with somebody. Mm -hmm. We love the fact. We love the diversity. Somebody called them out for fucking cucking to China. Someone like called them out for doing all these things to bend the knee and to work with China. Somebody called them out for bath. for going after Florida. The response was he called the governor anti-Florida and anti-business. Bob Iger is terrible and he is a puppet and he has no backbone whatsoever. I don't know how that plays well at all when you're literally saying, without saying it directly, he did say it directly, that they're not worried about family-friendly content and being respectable to families. That can't play very well in the bigger scheme of things. I'm not saying Disney's going to die tomorrow. Never said that, but it's terms of them losing so much steam in an industry that they once dominated and should be dominating, should be dominating across the board. They have lost so much in the last few years, and it's only going to get significantly worse.